from Loretto Abbey, home to the Sisters of Loretto since 1928, and the Loretto Abbey Secondary School. And with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Today's Mass, during this week of prayer for vocations, is sponsored by the fourth degree members of the Knights of Columbus in the Archdiocese of Toronto. The Knights of Columbus is a Catholic men's fraternal organization which through their charitable works and many hours of service has answered Pope Francis's call to go to the peripheries. The Knights of Columbus is a charity that evangelizes. It offers men the opportunity to pay witness through their actions to what it means to be Catholic. As an organization founded by a parish priest, Father Michael J. McGivney, the Knights of Columbus has always worked hard to encourage those considering a vocation under the motto, keep the faith alive. The Knights of Vocations program is based on prayer and designed to reach the hearts and minds of everyone, and as well to provide financial support during their years of seminary training or religious formation. Although the focus of the Order's vocations programs is focused on encouraging religious life, there is also a commitment to lay vocations, whereby each of us, in our own way, is called through our baptism to serve God, the Church, and our neighbor. We thank the fourth degree members of the Knights of Columbus in the Archdiocese of Toronto for the gift of this Mass, and we welcome their members to Loretto Abbey for the celebration of this Mass. Joining in the celebration of today's Mass is Deacon Bob Rosales. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. And they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the, to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion, for he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. 
So it was that for an entire year, they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. On the holy mount stands the city the Lord founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you. O city of God, all you nations praise the Lord. Among those who know, I mention Rahab and Babylon, Philistia too, and Tyre with Ethiopia. This one was born there, they say. And of Zion it shall be said, This one and that one were born in it, For the Most High himself will establish it. All you nations, praise the Lord. The Lord records as he registers the peoples, this one was born there. Singers and dancers alike say, all my springs are in you. All you nations praise the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep listen to me, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord.
When I was a young boy, we used to go visit my grandmother um, on the, my mother's side, and she had been a daily mass goer for many years until her health made it impossible. When we greeted her, you could see next to her chair a box right by her rosary. And it was a box that she had full of prayer intentions. She realized at this time her call in life was to pray for her family, her loved ones who were gone, for vocations, for the world. She knew her prayers were her calling, and in faith she prayed. To this day, I am sure her prayers helped me in my calling to my vocation, because prayer truly matters. We all see that we need priests and religious to answer the call from God, and we ask, what can I do? Well, we can pray as she did, because God hears our prayers. The power of prayer is undeniable. For me to be called, someone must have prayed a lot of prayers, and I know she was one of them. This week, we are praying for vocations. The Knights of Columbus, through their support of seminarians and through good work in the community, are examples to follow, and their prayers and support inspire many to keep going when times get tough. And I know as a priest, the best thing I can do is show that I'm happy I answered the call and welcome those who come that we serve. Today, let us promise to pray if we're at home, for when many pray in Jesus' name, we know that he hears us. This is a very important ministry that we all can be involved in. And we pray today that many more will hear the call because of our prayers. Let us pray each and every day. Become a member of the prayer ministry for vocations, and we can be assured our Lord will hear our prayers. For the intentions of our sponsors and for all those in the daily TV Mass audience that have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, especially for the repose of the souls of family members that have died recently, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the Knights of Columbus members across Canada, that they may be blessed for the assistance they give our bishops seminarians, and for their vocation, promotion, efforts of the Catholic Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord in thanksgiving for those priests, sisters, and brothers who inspire and strengthen us by the witness of their commitment, we pray to the Lord. Lord the Knights of Columbus prayer for vocations, Heavenly Father, bless your church with an abundance of holy and zealous priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. Give those you have called to the married state and those you have chosen to live as single persons in the world these special graces that their lives require. Form us all in the likeness of your Son, so that in him, with him, and through him, we may love you more deeply and serve you more faithfully, always and everywhere. With Mary, we ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered in your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may attain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Peace. Let us offer one another the sign of peace, and peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be here.
With those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer by St. Bernard of Clairvaux. As I cannot this day enjoy the happiness of assisting at the Holy Mysteries, O oh my God, I transport myself in spirit at the foot of your altar. I unite with the Church, which by the hands of the priest offers you your adorable Son in the Holy Sacrifice. I offer myself with him, by him, and in his name. I adore, I praise, and thank you, imploring your mercy, invoking your assistance, and presenting you the homage I owe you as my Creator, the love due to you as my Savior. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let Mass us go. Ascended, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Now the green blade rises. Remember, if you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep daily Mass on television. And you'll receive an income tax receipt for your donation. Love lives again, that with the dead has been. Love is come again, like wheat rising green. In the grave they laid him, love by hatred slain, thinking that he 